Welcome to Catherine's Garden. It's so good to see you. Today we are going to put the tuberous begonias to rest. They showed up and showed out, but their time has come. So we're going to store these, what we can save for the winter. have been so good to us and it's really been blooming and just been so beautiful for a long period of time and with this cold weather I don't know what's going to happen to them if they're going to be able to withstand the cold tonight so let's just enjoy them for this moment um, I just love how it's just been blooming and just showing up like this, so beautiful. Um, I really want to save the tubers and I really want this to come back. So we'll see how it goes tonight. and. If I see that there's a lot of dieback, then I'm going to dig it up and take it in. But that's this is so important to me. Now here is another begonia, and this one I got um, from QVC and Roberta's Garden, and this has been just blooming steadily too just very very beautiful and I pre-planted them in the spring and um, and then about mid I would say about June or so June and July it just started blooming non-stop just a beautiful beautiful begonia and I just love how it just develops it starts off small like that and then it it gives its full flush of bloom. It just opens up with all of the beautiful petals. And I don't know if I would naturally put yellow and this hot color red orange together, but in nature, it just looks, it looks spectacular. And then against the green, that particular green, uh, it just comes together. Mother nature has a great sense of color. So I, dug up the begonia, the giant American begonias, and um, set them to dry a little bit. And um, these are from Roberta's, and they were so beautiful. I'll show you a picture of, the, of them. Uh, they were so beautiful. And so now I want to store these uh, tubers. And they grew a really good size. Um, I might have missed one or two of them, but still I have four, which is great. And I believe that I'll be able to uh, save them because I did last year and it came out pretty good. So this is what it looks like. The tuber, and I think that's exactly what you see here. These tubers. And what is needed is to uh, dry them, dust them off, and then store them. So to store these tubers, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them in this paper and then set them in this box and overwinter them in a dry, cool place. And then next year, we'll plant them out 
and hopefully the begonias will come back again and I believe they will um, just as long as I put it in a nice dry location they'll just they'll be fine but let's go down memory lane and recall how beautiful they were in the garden Another special bloom is are these uh, begonias, tuberous begonias, and I purchased these last year, saved the tubers, and planted them out, and uh, they are now flowering in abundance. Isn't that pretty? And it's nice because it gives some garden interest. Um, especially at this time when it's so needed. Here's, here's another one. Now look at that. Look at the fullness of that. And I just love it with the coleus. This particular one loves this spot because it's just been blooming and blooming and blooming. I've not had to do much to it. And I believe that the tuber is probably pretty large, so I must definitely save it when um, the first, before the first frost so that I can have it for next year. Absolutely beautiful. And these coleus are just amazing. I'm going to pinch this out so that it can continue to bush up and out. And I love it with the purple perella. I'm going to have to go through and deadhead. This is my my pear, my Asian pear. They continue to grow. It's nice. I'm going to have to continue to go through and um, deadhead and do other things in the garden. But in the moment, look, this is another one. I purchased this one at one of my local gardening centers. And um, it's coming out really nice. I love it. Um, I believe that this one does not receive as much sun, but I hate to move it because I love this arrangement right here. You know, with this uh, sun impatient and the coleus. I really have become a lover of the coleus because um, it gives continual color. The flowers are nothing uh, to really speak about, but these leaves are so intense. And I just picked up a six pack from my, um, my gardener person that uh, creates all of the, the seedlings for us. and. Um, it's just so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. And I look forward to this. I'm going to continue to keep this design here. So I finished packing up the tubers in the box and I'm going to put the um, pamphlet in it or with it and so that way I can remember what it is and what I need to do next when the time is right. But that's it. They're all packed up and ready for winter storage. My begonias, giant American begonias.
thank you for watching and have you put away your tender bulbs too uh, leave a comment down below and know that you are God's wonderful garden. So, come on, let's bloom and let's shine. Have a great day. Bye, and thank you for joining me in Catherine's Garden.